Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to delete in Microsoft Planner. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time with Microsoft Planner, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. In Microsoft Planner, you can delete tasks, plans, and other items, but the whole process depends on what you want to delete. So once you are logged into your account, I want you to hover to the left-hand panel of your dashboard and click the My Plans. And from here, choose the plan that you wanted to work with. For example, you wanted to delete a specific task right here. Okay, for example, this one, you don't want this task already. All I'm going to do is click the three dots icon here that says more options. And all I have to do is click on delete. You can delete several tasks here, right? You see that? But please be mindful that once you have deleted a specific task, it's no longer reversible. So you have to do it cautiously, all right? And from here, you can delete this task. Now on the bucket right here, this is going to be a bucket. You can also delete this bucket right here, all right? You have a lot of um, options for that, especially if this bucket, you see, if you click on delete bucket, all tasks in this bucket will also be deleted. And again, as I've mentioned earlier, before you delete anything here, make sure you have a backup because once you have deleted the task or the bucket, they are not reversible and you can't have the option to go to the uh, trash bin and recover it all right so that's that now if you want to delete the whole plan all i have to do is click the three dots icon here all right and there's going to be an option that says delete this plan but this is very um delicate situation all right now if the Microsoft Planner doesn't allow you to delete an entire plan directly from the interface, that means you don't have the necessary permissions or the ads, uh, access level. So it's either you are not the owner of the Microsoft Plan or you're just a collaborator and you need an access to the super admin, all right? And of course, by following all of these steps, you can delete tasks, buckets, and plan, and all of the checklist items, attachments, and even the entire plan again by deleting the associated group. Always double check before deleting important information as most deletions in Planner are always permanent, as you can see right here, all right? And once you're happy with that, all I have to do now is click on delete and wait for it. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.